Today's episode, I want to share with you seven quotes that really motivate me in business and with my fitness. Now, if you're like me, I'm sure you've come across thousands and thousands of quotes since you've been on this earth. Uh, and many, I'm sure, have inspired you in different ways and for different reasons. But today, I want to share with you seven of my personal favorites. And two of them are by myself. And that's not from an ego perspective, but they're just words that when I'm stuck or I'm, I'm feeling um, any remote possibility of me lowering my standards, I come back to. So I just wanted a really short episode to share with you the seven quotes. I'm literally just going to read them off and why that quote is important to me. So by the end of this ep episode, um, hopefully you should have at least one that you can maybe add to your armor. If, like me, every now and then it's, it's good to look at a quote to pick you up, to remind you what you need to do or um, inspire you to push forward to whatever goals are important to you. So the first one is actually partly inspired by one of my great clients, David Myers, a uh, celebrity chef, has done a phenomenal transformation inside our Built to Last program. And I remember him saying to me, I think it was in a voice note, along his journey, he said, Kirk, when I said to him, you know, David, you know, what, 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 why is this important to you? He just said, Kirk, it's this simple. If, if something's important to you, you do not renegotiate your goals. And there's something really, really powerful with the word renegotiate um, that for me just has a more significant meaning attached to my goals. So the quote is, don't renegotiate your goals if you want to look, feel, and perform better. I think by using the word renegotiate or don't renegotiate, you're not giving yourself permission to make excuses. You're not giving yourself permission to cut corners. You're not giving yourself permission to give up. If looking better, feeling better, and performing better is important to you. So the quote again, and this is one of my own, but again, partly inspired by David Myers, don't renegotiate your goals if you want to look, feel, and perform better. The next one, I think I've maybe even got two from this man. Uh, this man for me is the greatest personal development guru or expert that I've ever come across, or certainly in the top three. Um, he was Tony Robbins' mentor. Um, this is a man who I've watched and listened to so many different audios, different trainings for the last 10 years, and that is Jim Rowan. Jim Rowan, for me, was well ahead of his time with his public speaking, the way he could captivate people, uh, captivate an audience, and just literally, he has you hanging on the edge of his every word, was absolutely phenomenal. And I think this man has punched out so many different quotes that I probably could have <laughs> done a whole episode on Jim Rowan's quotes. In fact, I've actually got, I'm sure I paid for this uh, PDF download once where it was like 200 of Jim Rowan's greatest ever quotes. That's how many great things he said and they're, they're just so powerful. Well, <laughs> they are to me anyway. But this is one of his best, simple but best quotes in my opinion. If you really want to do something, you'll find a way. If you don't, you'll find an excuse. And I think if you read that quote, at any point you are tempted to veer off from any destination, target or goal that's important to you, you're far less likely to do that if you have this quote staring in your face. And if you want to go a step further, literally put that into YouTube and listen to Jim Rowan saying that because he says it with a, a lot more <laughs> pop than I just did. But um, it's so powerful. 
so powerful. If you really want to do something, you'll find a way. If you don't, you'll find an excuse. Because I think so many people make excuses when the going gets tough, whether it's in business, whether it's in fitness, or maybe in a, in a relationship. And if you're going to achieve anything great in business, with your health and body, and of course, when building a family, did you honestly expect not to have road bumps, curveballs, adversity along that journey? But that quote for me is so powerful and really, really helps me and clients that I've shared that quote with along your journey. The third one is with the very famous Thomas Jefferson. And this, <laughs> this is very similar pattern as you probably uh, get by the end of this uh, episode. And that is, if you want something you've never had, you must be willing to do something you've never done. If you want something you've never had, you must be willing to do something you've never done. And I know there's lots of similar quotes out there that say or have a similar theme, but this is simple, very logical. And I think some people forget the basic principles that if you are trying to reach a new standard in business, with body, with fitness, in any area of life, it is absolutely deluded to expect to achieve an outcome you've never had if you're doing the same things that you're currently doing. There has to be a new standard. There has to be a new skill set. There has to be a new work ethic to get to where you want to be if you've never been there before. Doing the same, you look the same. If you eat the same, you look the same. If you work the same, you're going to achieve the same outcome. I think it's a, an Albert Einstein quote that's very similar to this, but if you look at this quote when you're tempted to down tools at any point in your journey or the going gets tough, I promise you, you will push through a lot more than uh, you know the chances of not pushing through. This is another one of mine that really helps me when I'm faced with challenge, for sure. And that is condition your mindset to see the opportunity in every challenge. Remember, a challenge is only as hard as the meaning you place on it. Like, we can all have the same challenge, but it's the words you attach to it, the meaning you place on it is going to dictate what you do or don't do when trying to overcome or retreat from that challenge. But if you can genuinely look at every challenge as an opportunity to condition a stronger mindset along that challenge, and then you push through that challenge by having such a strong mindset, and then condition that, that that's what your mindset does, that's who you are over and over and over again, whether it's mentally, whether it's physically, whether it's professionally, eventually that will become hardwired into your DNA that the moment your back's up against the wall, the moment you've got something or someone standing in front of you that is in standing in the way of your goals, then the amount of power you'll get is phenomenal. Right? Mindset is the single most important thing that we want to keep strong in pursuit of any goal, especially when it comes to your physique and your health and new levels of fitness. Your mind will fail you far quicker than your body will. A lot of people, the moment they get that first ounce of pain in a the gym, they down tools, they stop the set, or they come off the treadmill, whatever, whatever it is you, you're doing with your training, they fold. But if you can literally rewire your mindset that when you have that challenge, this is when you roll your sleeves up, you dig deep, you know, you, you put your head down, you keep pushing forward. On the other side of that is unbelievable emotional growth and unbelievable mental strength um, that, as I've just said, you repeat over and over again. The confidence that, that follows as part of your character is, uh, is priceless. <clears throat> this is one by someone called Carl Gustav Jung. Uh, I use this over and over again 
in uh, our Built to Last community. And it's definitely one of my favorite quotes. You are what you do, not what you say you will do. The amount of people that say they're going to do something and then not follow through is staggering. And I've been that guy in my early 20s when I kept saying I was going to do certain things uh, with my career change, all this stuff, and it never happened. Nothing is going to drain confidence more than saying you're going to do something and then not follow through on that. Equally, if you say you're going to do something and then do it and then keep doing that, the level of confidence you'll have internally as well as externally um, will be genuinely life-changing. If you look at all the high performers on this planet in business, with body, or just across the board, they are people who say they're going to do something and they follow through on it. But equally, there was nothing more disempowering than saying you're going to do something and then not do it. So remember that quote. You are what you do, not what you say you'll do. Second to last one we have is and this is unknown when I was trying to Google who was, uh, who was the uh, person who, who created this quote. Um, but it's really simple. You only fail if you give up. You only fail if you give up. The truth is, many of us, myself included, have goals physically, professionally, financially, maybe with your family, certain targets, and there's going to be some you hit, some that you don't hit. And continuing to move towards your goals doesn't guarantee that you're going to hit them. But giving up guarantees that you won't. So if you can just have that mindset that the only way I'm possibly going to fail is if I give up, then it's like a contract to yourself that you will keep persevering until you are going to hit that goal or at least move a lot closer towards it and as we say to many of our clients since I built to last um, get just as addicted to the process and the person you're becoming in pursuit of your goals as the outcomes themselves because how many times have you hit a goal financially physically professionally and it didn't seem all that it was cracked up to be when you hit that target I know I've hit goals before and you worked so hard and you had this emotional expectation that the moment you hit that goal, that you're going to, you're going to feel like, you know, you, you, your life's changed or, um, you know, that, that that's it. You've made it, whether it's with body, whether it's with business. And then a day after you feel flat, you feel like lost, you know, lack of purpose. Okay. So get, just as addicted to the journey as you, as you are working towards the outcome. And remember, you're only going to fail if you give up. Then the last quote, the, the man himself, Jim Rohn again, uh, I've shared this at, at events. Don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better. Don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better. I just think for me, this quote is like the ultimate sort of high performance quote that just forces you to get better and it makes you devalue anything comfortable and that comes too easy because I think when something is too comfortable it becomes too easy you don't value it and when you don't value it you're generally not going to be consistent in that area especially when it comes to health and fitness, for example. You know, if you were just handed on a plate a world-class body um, without having to do the work, without having to be consistent with the habits that create that body, you won't value it. Like, for example, and this might hit a nerve with some people, um, a lot of people, in my opinion, go overboard on surgery. I mean, I, I was in Miami recently and I saw a lot of people with like arse implants and things like that I mean, it's, 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 my, my language, it's fucking ridiculous. Um, if something is just given to you, um, it doesn't change the character you have and the identity that you see yourself as having. 
because you've not had to work hard or create the habits that create that outcome. It doesn't remove the insecurities. It just pats, pats down them, in my opinion, if something comes too easy. So remember that Jim Rowan quote. Don't wish that, let me say it again. Don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better. For me, that quote, probably out of all of today's, is just something that is going to keep your standards high every week, every month, year round. And there's so many more from Jim Rowan. But there's my seven. Um, I do have, and that's what I'm looking at now, a PDF with these seven quotes. So if you do want me to send them across to you, again, direct, direct message me on uh, LinkedIn or um, Instagram, and I'll send it right over to you. But I'd love to know what your, your favorite was from today. I'd love to know what your favorites are. So if you listen to this and you, you've got some amazing quotes that um, keep you sharp, keep you motivated, you know, in times of need, I'd love to hear from you with them. So please don't hesitate to drop me a message and I'll see you next time.